So about a month and a half ago, I got my very first recording and mixing console for my home studio. So this is it. This is a Trident 68 24 channel recording and mixing console. Now, as I mentioned, I'm working out of my home studio, so I needed a place to put the console. So I got this custom studio desk from Danger Fox. This is a split bay custom console desk. So it has 16 units of rack space on the left and right side of the desk. It has this nice front shelf to hold whatever you need to put on the front. And then the center section is custom built to whatever console you're going to put on it. It also has these speaker stands on the left and right side. And then behind the studio desk, I have this cool charging station for all my camera gear. But you can see all the connections to the console here, and they are all DB25 connections across the whole board. And you have four XLR connections for your master output and monitor outputs. Now all of these connections go over to the patch bay. Now the patch bay has the inputs and outputs of every single thing in my entire studio, so I can send and return them anywhere I'd like. All right, so the basic idea of how I'm using this console really ties into how I'm using the entire room. If there's an instrument in this room, the instrument is plugged in. It's plugged in or it has a microphone on it and the microphone is plugged into a tie line which goes to the patch bay, which patches in to the console. Now, as far as the console goes, there's a couple different ways that you can use this thing. You can obviously use it as a recording console using all of the mic pre's and channels across the whole board as inputs, as well as returning to the console a line input from your DAW or tape machine and using it for mixing. The way I'm currently using it is actually utilizing both of these features. But just for fun, I'll give you a quick lay of the land on this console. As I said before, it's 24 channels. So these are your channel sections here. They're divided into buckets of eight across the board, as you can see. And then on the right side of the board, you have your group monitor section. And then you have your auxiliary sends and returns above your group monitor section. And this little channel strip here with the blue fader is your master output and monitor output channel. Up top, you have all of your LED meters and your VU meters for your master outputs. And as far as the signal routing on this console, on the channels, it's actually quite simple. Up top, the red knobs are your inputs. And you can come in at a mic level and hit the mic pre, or you can come in line level, returning. Underneath your inputs, you have your auxiliary sends, and there are a total of six sends. You have four mono sends and then a stereo send at the bottom with pans. And then directly underneath the auxiliary section is the EQs for each channel. It's a four band EQ. You've got a high pass filter at 50 Hertz. And you also have your insert button right at the top of the EQ if you want to insert something on each individual channel. Underneath the EQs, you have your monitor section. Instead of having a separate 24 channel fader monitor section, it's in this row right along here, which then goes to the monitor output. Directly underneath the monitor section is your pans for each channel, as well as your mute and your meter selection. And right underneath that, you have your actual faders, which are tied to the direct outputs of the channel. And you can assign the channel either to the left right bus at the top or you have groups one through eight that you can assign your outputs to and then at the very bottom of the channel you have your solo and your solo mode right above it technically i could use this in a couple different ways i could have all my inputs come across 24 channels and then i could return over here and have eight channels of returns from my daw and some through this section, or I could return through channels one through 24 for mixing, and I can use the groups to bust things down into stereo groups, or use stereo effects on the auxes and aux returns for mixing, and use the whole desk as a mixing console. But instead what I'm doing is I am keeping all of my instruments in my studio coming in the mic pre inputs of the console. You can see I have them grouped here. This is the drum section. I have channels one 
through 10 as my drums with a, th a few extra channels in case I want to add something. Right after drums, I have the bass channel, my aux box, a microphone that I always keep live, and then I have my synthesizer right on the two channels there. I have an extra four channels that can either be used as inputs or as returns for mixing and summing. And then for the last two channels, I'm doing a hybrid mix setup where I have my mix for Pro Tools or Logic happening here where I can write my automation on all of the channels in the session, use my plugins, but then return the entire mix to either two faders or four or six or these if I want to. But I'm for the most part, I'm just hitting these two faders, which allows me to use the EQs, the inserts on the channel, as well as the left right mix bus insert, which I then insert my stereo EQ and compression across my entire mix. Now, once the mix has ran through the console and hit my chain that I like it to hit, it returns back to two inputs on my interface and I record it back in and I can monitor everything right here on my Grace monitor controller. As you can see, I have my Apollo input. I have my console input set right here so I can switch between the two, listen directly from the console, and then I can listen directly from my interface here. I have an auxiliary input for the studio if somebody wants to play something back. And this is actually my monitor section of the console so I can listen to either the mix bus or the monitor bus. And of course, I can listen on different speakers, mute the sub, mono, all that stuff. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much how I'm using this console here in my home studio. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Thank you Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. I have links to all of the gear that I use here in my home studio down in the description. Click those links, they're affiliate links to Sweetwater. Best place to get stuff for your home studio, whether you're just starting or you're adding a console to your home studio setup. Again, if you're curious about this console, this is the Trident 68. It's the 24 channel version. They have a 16 channel version as well. So check it out. Again, links down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.